an older black woman in Lancaster, California. She was being assaulted by a Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputy outside of a local grocery store. Now the woman was videotaping her husband being arrested after they both were detained after the deputies were called by the store because the couple was falsely accused of stealing a cake. In California, under First Amendment laws, the woman and others are well within their right to film law enforcement in any public or private setting, as long as it doesn't interfere with law enforcement activity or endanger others. In fact, citizens who film law enforcement could use these recordings as evidence of any criminal or civil law cases. Now, the woman who was older was thrown to the ground, pepper sprayed in the video, and her husband was already handcuffed yelling out, she has cancer. Now, the LASD is now investigating this incident as a use of force case. But if you've seen the video, it was absolutely, absolutely heartbreaking. Why are you doing this shit, man? Mm -hmm. Boss, why are you doing all this? Mm -hmm. Stop. You can't touch stuff. You can't touch stop. me. Stop. Ah! Get on the ground. It's already on YouTube stop. live. Stop. I don't get stop. 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 You're gonna get punched in the you, face. You punch me and you're gonna you're gonna get sued. Don't sock her. Don't suck her. Call the commander. Call the commander. Put your hand behind me. So much is going on with this case, and I know our comments will be jumping and will be all over the place. Pierre, this couple was accused of stealing a cake that appeared to be less than about $20 in the video. Now, we understand this is a private business, but should grocery stores prosecute and criminally charge individuals for theft less than $20? I also want to note that we're learning that this was a false accusation of them stealing that cake. Wow, man, that, that is totally disheartening. It's, it's, it, it triggers so many things. You know, a white man doing it to a black woman, then the way he threw her down like a rag doll, then it's the police, it's a civil civil person. Uh, it's just a um, civil citizen. It just hurts all across the board. He, you know, it's just, it's, there's no, there's no regard. It's such a disregard for, 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 for human life and just, just even a woman, man, to do that. Like, was it wasn't really necessary to be that thrown her down like that, man. That man should definitely be reprimanded. I mean, something should happen to him. I mean, damn, he can go to jail off the force. But that, there, there, there was something inside of him that was beyond that moment. You get what I'm saying? There was something he was, you know, beyond that. And I think he needs some counseling or get the hell off the force. Right. I um I agree with you, Pierre. In the video, it was very mm -hmm. heartbreaking and it felt it did feel a little personal. Mm -hmm. uh, the deputies were responding to the grocery store, Winco actually calling and saying that the couple right. stole a cake, which I believe was a little less, it, it appeared a little less than $20. Right. My question, I have so many um right. I'm those are I don't believe that grocery stores should involve law enforcement when it's theft of property under $20. But what do you believe in this case? Do you believe that grocery stores should call the police on people if it's a Man, little Ms. Bay, Well, Miss Bay, first of all, I mean, it's a business, you know. If, if we let $20 slide, you know, a whole bunch of people running there knowing that for $20 or less, they ain't going to trip. And, you know, it, it is a it is a business. You just don't let people just keep stealing. Trust me, if, if, if we know that $20 and below can be, won't be reported, it's going to be what it's going to be after, after a time. But... To what extent do you anybody if you if, if you handcuff somebody or you bring the law, how how aggressive do you need to be? You know you know right. for something as minor as that, it's not like a bank robber with a gun with them and so forth. You gotta be rough and tough with them. But when you just you know like I said, it's a lot of pent up frustration, post uh, I mean pre you know feelings of people. Them, them cops you know they can they can claim. They're just doing their job, but they're human. They have feelings. They have, um, uh, you know, probably some racial stuff with them, feeling a certain way, tired of seeing black people doing this or that, whatever, and took it to overboard. And we need people like that off the force because the next thing will happen, that man will pull that gun out and start shooting uh, innocent black people or, you know, or anybody, Latinos, whites. So um, that was some trash right there, straight trash from the police. And I really hope something happens to them. If it doesn't, it's just a shame. Them cops are going to continue to do that, you know, act that way. So 